Hey, I'm up early. We're going on a tour today. I don't even know where Jarvis uh, set up the tours. Hope he did a good job, but I'm waiting for Jarvis to get international though. First day out on the tour in Rapa Nui. Not even sure where we're going, but hey, I'm here. The sun is out, the fun is out. I'm waiting for Jarvis. Oh, he's finally coming out. He's finally coming out. I'm ready to go. Okay, we're on our way to the park. The National Park. Let's go and enjoy ourselves. Hey, my friend from the plane. que fue muy interesante como fue formado por una implosión el, el cráter vino hacia adentro formando una cámara magmática que colapsa el, el, dentro de la caldera y produce el cráter ya este es el reservorio de plantas nativas más importante en todo Rapanui ya 
el cráter ha proporcionado una protección para las plantas nativas que aquí abajo en este pequeño bosque se conserva todavía la medicina natural y las plantas originales de la planta. Todo esto que se ve que está eh, flotando arriba, se ve, es la totora, la famosa totora que los antiguos también ocuparon para hacer eh, fibra vegetal o bote antiguamente. La raíz de una especie se llama It's all over the place. <laughs> so when it's dried up, it shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> okay, we're going to the top of the crater to get a look from above. Yeah. Here we're International Zoo. Yeah. Doing this thing. Easter Island. Uh-huh. Rapa Nui. Yeah, Rapa Nui. Rapa Nui. <laughs> One of the most isolated islands in the world. That's right. Six hour flight from the mainland. Yeah. Six hours from Santiago. Getting into the park. Rapanui, Easter Island. Bang, bang. This is a ceremonial site for the ancestors, the Rapanui. You're gonna come in and make a right. Ahora, tengo seis meses previos a la ceremonia. Se encerraban más o menos siete mujeres muy viejas dentro de una cueva. from very rustic way 
vertically and then during the time they were putting their stone horizontal interblocking them so much more stable to sustain bigger and bigger moai during the time so uh, here we have several moai knocked down in front this one that fall down on the back and some area of the middle of the platform that have been destroyed to find treasure so many europeans came and put dynamite in this stone wall because it looks perfect for contain some treasures the only what they found was so much gold and jewelry material this, these were the tomb the cemetery of the ancestral people so inside we were the very that a lot of the stories similar to the stories that you hear all around the world, Egypt and Mexico, about the ancient people, the way they respected their elders and buried them, and foreigners coming in, basically European destroying what was there, destroying their culture, destroying their religion. Same story all over the world. The very perfect eye socket. So how I say, the eyes were made out of coral, they were shaped like an apple, then fixed into this concave area of the eyes, and the pupil out of obsidian. There is a big uh, fact about the eye socket, to understand when this white was one day on the planet. When we see some white without the eye socket, it will never get to the planet. So all the problems they give them the eyes Take a lunch break and then hit the second part of the tour today. What we saw so far was uh, more, more of the things we saw today was about the ancestors, the burials, and stuff like that. Today, now we're gonna go to the second part. I'm not sure what we're gonna see. He's posing for me, I don't know why. Represent Tuskegee today. <laughs> you, you stop it? Trying to eat good, but this looks like raw fish. All right, I'm gonna try it. Oh, what's that you got? That was the fish of the day with crepers and onions, yeah. but it looked raw though. Yeah. Yours too. You got yeah. ceviche. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah. Right. Stay drug free on this trip, but you know, Jarvis always got some whiskey or some 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 rum, or something. He always got something. I turned him down on the cigars, but he always got advice. I'm gonna start calling you OG Vice Grip. Yeah, there you go. Come on, mommy. You can see the canoes, sometimes carving on some of them. We can see all these. Uh, Numbers also that the missionaries were from the web. Los, eh, los misioneros pusieron el nombre, o sea, estos números, cuando los estaban empezando a contabilizar, tenemos alguna grafiti ahí. Bien, obviamente nos faltan los. Por eso hoy en día hay todo un control que requiere encontrar con los guías. of the head dresses that they put on the top of the statues. They roll them. So we're going to the mountain where they collect the materials, the stone, to do it.
this side. Tell the people where they should go in Spain. <laughs> Hi! <Hello>. Hola! <laughs> They're from Spain. Yeah, sí. from Andalusia. Maria. Andalusia. Almeria. 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 And what's the best place to visit in Spain? Yeah. <laughs> in the south. Sí. Okay. Muy buenas playas, muy buen tiempo, muy buena comida, yeah, very muy good buena food. fiesta. María habla despacio. Okay. <laughs> Antonio, ella <laughs> habla despacito porque así la entiende. Ay, no lo pase, no gracias, pasa nada, gracias, no. gracias, sí. gracias. Okay. ¿Has llegado Instagram? Yes. Ah, ya no lo va a pasar. Ok, we give it Instagram. Ok. Ok. <laughs> I love New York. You love New York? You travel alone? Yes. Well, this is my friends. I come, but most of the time alone. Ah. Yes. But you born there? Yes, New York City. Uh, your first time in uh, Where? Chile? In, yes, in first time in Chile. I grew up in Harlem, Manhattan. Manhattan. Yeah. Manhattan. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think we're going to finally get a chance to see the statues. I think we're going to see seven heads, seven statues, four, seven statues here. I think. We're going to get back on the, on the bus. Still pretty far away. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm going to bring my other camera next time with my zoom on it. It's so far away, you can't even really appreciate it. Not with the camera, with the eye you can. We speak in English first? Yes. It's yes, the seven, first of the seven, Rapa Nui, sacred grounds. Can't cross the line, international zone. Some people so want to know why you can't cross the line is respect. Are the only <laughs> we're have to, to show to respect. How do I zoom? This is yes, I'm here at Rapa Nui. We have the first seven statues. 
I'm using my DJI Action 3, but this is the first time I'm using the Zoom. They don't have this on the GoPro 9. I don't know if they have it on the 10, 11, 12, but let's see if the quality is the same with this Zoom feature. I didn't, I forgot it had this feature. Let's just say that. Okay, we're in the cave here. Not much to see, a little bit. We walk to the edge and back here. Mm. The most exciting part so far today was the seven statues. The other parts of the tour was kind of like, eh. A little bit dry, a little bit boring. But uh, we have three more days of tours. Let's see what else Rapa Nui has to offer. Flashlight of the cell phone. Just this section is quite uh, dark, but then it's uh, clear. Se puede usar su linterna del celular. Solamente esta sección un poco oscura. Lo podemos ver aquí en eco. Esto es un verdadero napa subterráneo. ¿Cómo se llama eso? Plátano. Stop! We can't take anymore! 